YouTube, what's up? Frogs Angels here with a special video for you guys. Mm. Not just a normal mock draft. We got three guys here. We're going to go through each team. We're going to give their possible prospects they would draft, and then we're going to vote on who would we who who we would draft. Mm. And then, obviously, whoever has the most votes gets that pick. So we got realistic options. Then we're playing kind of playing GM together on each team. And we're here in the lovely city of Philadelphia mm. where the draft is being taking place and the venue is in our site it's it's really coming together what do you guys think I mean, it is gorgeous just look at that look at those workers should just be, putting in countless hours should be interesting uh drafts drafts being out held outside so it should be interesting uh, all three days outside this is you know they're still it's still under construction i hope they get it done in time good thing it's always sunny in philadelphia yeah that is a good uh, thing um so let's get into the browns Obviously, there's really only one option, but we're going to get two options. Miles Garrett, Texas A&M edge rusher, or Mitchell Trubisky, also known as Mr. Biscuit. Who will they take? Who I would take with that? Who would you take? I would take Miles Garrett. I really – he's number one on uh, – I would say out of any person at all. I don't think there's even a discussion. Yeah, and I would also take Miles Garrett Yeah, across the board. Garrett. It's Miles Garrett. So the pick for the Browns is Miles Garrett. And the Niners, a lot, lot of options for the Niners at the second overall pick. Obviously, there's trading down as an option. We're not doing no trades here. None of that. Um, so, options for the Niners. Solomon Thomas, defense alignment from Stanford. Jamal Adams, the safety from LSU. Leonard Fournette, the running back from LSU. I've seen him in some recent mocks. That would be a little bit of a shocker, but it's I guess it's possible. Marshawn Latimer, the corner from Ohio State. Maybe a little early, but possible. And then we'll throw two quarterbacks in there, maybe Deshaun Watson and Mitchell Trubisky, kind of known as the top quarterbacks. But two is obviously it would be a little early for them. But I guess it wouldn't really shock me too much. But what do you guys? Who's your vote out of those guys? Out of those, uh, I don't really. He, John Lynch has made it clear that uh, the quarterbacks they have now are a stopgap. So I'm, I'm guessing they're going to address the quarterback issue as much as I would not personally agree with that. That would be my guess. I think they go with one of the quarterbacks. Who would you take? Though? Who would I take? I'd take Watson over Trubisky. So you're actually going for a quarterback here? I would go for a quarterback here. All right, so Watson gets a vote. Uh, my vote would be for Jamal Adams. I think the – really, you can't you can't really miss here. The Niners could use anything. They pretty much need anything. So I'm just going with my number two player on my board and now the best available since Garrett is gone, and that's Jamal Adams, the safety from LSU. I think he's a pro bowler in the near future. Yeah, I would, I would agree. I would go with Jamal Adams, too. Um, I think he's probably the safest pick in the draft. And uh, they addressed D-line with uh, Armstead last year, so I think they could just go with Jamal Adams there. And Buckner. Oh, yeah. Don't had, forget about I Buckner. Buckner. Big boy Buckner. So maybe, maybe that's – if there is a strong was, suit wait, of was the – Buckner last year? Buck, Buckner was last year. Armstead was two years ago. Armstead was like the yeah. same style player. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think they're really going to go D-line again there. So I'll yeah. go with Jamal Adams. You can't rule it out. But, yeah, if there there is something on the positive side of the Niners, it's maybe that D-line of the future. So Adams wins that 2-1. to one. <laughs> Sorry about your Watson. <laughs> well, you want to get next? Let's now go. on yeah. to the Bears. Yeah, I would have uh, had Adams down as an option here, but he is gone. So you look at the Bears. I think, again, Solomon Thomas fits their defense. Do they need that position, though? I don't know. Uh, Latimer's got to be an option. They need a corner pretty bad. He's rumored to go this high. And you Hooker. look at you look at Hooker since Adams is gone. Our team's concerned about his injury. I'm really not too much too concerned on it. And then uh, you got to go Jonathan Allen. They're rumored to really like Jonathan Allen, but he's lately sounds like he may slide because of his shoulder injury. But maybe there's a team that's already cleared him medically, and I know the Bears like him. But will they take him at three? And then lastly, you got to. You got to add the two quarterbacks, I think. I mean, really, you could add four, but the, if we had to pick two, I think it sounds like Lawson and Trubisky are at the top. So, is any more? You guys think there's any more uh, options that we can consider? I think, I think that about does it for the, like the yeah. realistic options. Realistic, yeah. There's obviously more, but those are the realistic ones. What do you think? I mean, as much as I like Solomon Thomas, uh, I would go here. I would address the secondary, whether that be corner or. With Adams being off the board, I would take Hooker or Latimer. Probably end up going You're sticking with, with Glennon? You like Glennon? Uh, I mean, I don't like Glennon, but I'm okay with maybe taking one of the later round guys, um, quarterback-wise, to kind of develop him. So I'm going to take Hooker here. 
You're going to take Hooker? Mm -hmm. Really, with – so you were saying your guy was Adams probably? My guy was Adams, yeah. So, so what if he's gone? You think uh, Bears possibly are a team that could trade back? Yeah. I, yeah. We were, I, we're not doing trades here, but, like, realistically, if Adams is gone, I would trade back this pick. Yeah, I would agree. I would think about – yeah, like you said, Hooker. It's, it's really tough with – Hooker turns the ball over. That's why – put it in Glennon's hands. takes the ball away, yeah. Uh, it's really a hard choice for me. Solomon Thomas fits their defense. I'm not as high on him as most. I don't know if he's worthy of the third pick. Great player, great potential, but is he going to make a big impact right away? Um, Latimer, I don't know if he's worthy of the third. He has the skill, but he has some small injuries here and there. That sounds like a Bears pick. Uh, That's why we shouldn't. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Allen, I think it's a little too early, especially taking in his injury, but it should be too concerning. So I'm kind of on the fence. If it was QB, it would be Watson or it's Hooker. I think the third overall pick is too high for any quarterback in this draft, so I'm going to go Hooker, but I, it's it's kind of it's kind of iffy at the third overall pick taking any of these guys. Yeah, I agree. There's a lot of risk with all of them. Um, you guys already, already chose Hooker, so that's obviously the winner, but I, I would choose him too. He's one of my favorite players in the draft. Yeah, so Hooker it is. That might be a little surprising to the viewers because you don't really see Hooker in Bears mock drafts. But you see a lot really of Latimer. Yeah, you really don't see safeties really going top three anymore. Yeah, two, kind of two out of the top three picks here. Sliding down a little bit, but yeah. I think they're they can't pass prospects there. Yeah, all right. The Jags are the fourth pick. Um, I think you got to write Fournette down. You got to try running backs in general. Yeah, but Fournette's probably the only worthy. Guy. Cook would be worthy, but he's on the decline because of his off-field issues. Um, then you gotta look at. They're supposed to be really like Jonathan Allen. He fits their system. Right. Um, Solomon Thomas is still on the board. Most experts think he would be gone by now, as it sounds. Any but anybody else that we can put down as quarterbacks, qu maybe. I mean, that's a wild card. Yeah. Wild card there, quarterbacks. So not too many options for the Jags. Fournette, Allen, Thomas, and quarterback. Obviously, it would be Watson or Trubisky. They're still available who are you taking as the Jags here I think it's a no doubter I think you take Fournette I think it's uh something they need to address and they failed to address you need a nice young high motor running back in there yeah um I'm actually gonna go Fournette I don't know if it will be the pick honestly I think they may go defense they really seem to be uh enjoying building more and more defense which is going to be good in the future but I think they do actually have two solid running backs, but I think Fournette's just on a different level. Instant impact yeah. will open things up for <clears throat> Blake Bortles, so I think it's it's not even a question for me there. Well, again, uh, Fournette's already the <laughs> winner. <laughs> already the, I really don't have a, a say really too much, but uh, yeah, it's kind of surprising Solomon Thomas is still there, so they would have to consider that, but yeah, I'll go with Leonard Fournette as well. Leonard Fournette is the guy. Seems like Pete's pick doesn't matter. Maybe Pete should go first no, for the. Okay. Maybe we'll go first for the next one. Yeah, oh. we'll switch it. The Titans pick five from a trade from last year. Who can we put down for the Titans? With oh, Thomas still on the board, I think you got to write down uh, Thomas. I think Latimer has to be there too. Um, yeah. You got to write down Latimer. They're in the market for a corner. He's still on the board. Maybe Mark a receiver. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can write down receivers. Obviously, for me, I think the, the main one would be Mike Williams. Maybe a little too early. Um, and both safeties gone, so you can't really consider that. Is there any other? I think you write down Jonathan Allen as well. He fits. He fits the system. Isn't a huge need. I don't know if it's that big of a need. But uh, anybody else? You guys think that it's an option for the Titans? I think that's that's a good list. Right I think there. I th with Reuben Foster recently failing a drug test. I think it would have been an option, but now it's probably not. Um, I almost want to write down Derek Barnett, but it's it's not as likely as these four. I would say. So, looking, Pete, you're up yeah, first. Start it off. Yeah, we'll um, it. If they were in this situation, I think they would definitely trade down. Well, I mean, obviously, we're not doing trades, like we said. Um, just because Solomon Thomas is there, I think teams would want to jump up and get him. Or all the quarterbacks are still left, so I think teams would want to kind of jump up, jump up there and uh, take quarterbacks before they get to the uh, the Jets and the Chargers and teams like that. So, um, I guess I'm gonna go with Solomon Thomas, though, just because he's. I think he's the best prospect there. Um, he's the safest, and I think he'd fit their defense. What do you think, Junior? I think, like Pete said, most realistic, I think they're actually going to trade this. The uh, This pick, I think, is going to have a lot of value just because like, a bunch of teams that need a quarterback could jump the Jets that, everyone, that have been rumored to quarterbacks. So this is like a prime pick, especially if the draft falls this way. But I think they end up addressing the corner issue, and they take Ladmer. 
Yeah, it was, all right, now you put me in a tough situation. Again, this would be a prime <laughs> spot to trade down. What I think they do in this situation is I think they go Thomas or Latimer. I think, Ooh. you know, Dick LeBeau being that one of those great defensive minds, um, he's going to want to get his hands on a defensive player. Latimer might be a guy with a little dick in him. <laughs> <laughs> so, what does so that funny. mean? I think La I can see Dick LeBeau in Latimer. Like, maybe he's a guy. <laughs> but, but with that being said, I'm sticking true to my I heard book. that completely different. Okay. You took it wrong? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know exactly how you took it, but... Um, I'm staying true to my board. I, I think the obvious ones are Thomas or Latimer, but if I really like Mike Williams as well, but if your medical team checked out Allen and he's okay, which he was able to work out, so I, I, I'm not a medical expert. I'm not with the team, but I think he's okay. I think Allen is the best player on the board. Obviously, A-plus situation as you trade back, but I'm going to go Allen. So we have a three-way. Oh, man. <laughs> Another one of these. <laughs> Another three ways, so uh, that's what I'll do here. Because I think out of our three picks, Solomon Thomas, Latimer, and Allen, who, who do you guys think would most likely be the choice out of the three? I think it would be Latimer. I think it's going to be, yeah, I think Latimer is probably the most like realistic. So I think yeah, we'll have, we'll yeah, have to give him Latimer. We'll go, we'll go with that, yeah. I mean, it is kind of interesting, though, because Solomon Thomas is supposed to be off the board two or three, so... Latimer's off the board here. So maybe Solomon Thomas would would be more likely, but we're, we'll just go Latimer because corner is a ginormous need. Mm. All right, Jets. I mean, we're going to keep writing down Solomon Thomas first. I'm not as high on him as this, but it Mr. sounds Biscuit. like he may go. Um, quarterbacks, we got to write down, looking at Watson and Trubisky at the top. Um, you can write down so many things. So you got to write down Jonathan Allen again. They have a great defensive line, but the Jets, I know for a fact, are a team that will draft best player available. Do they go away from that and go quarterback this year? We will see. Who else could we put down in the situation? I, I mean, wild card. I think you could put down receiver. Looking at Mike Williams because they traded or they released Brandon Marshall, and uh, they could use another one. They want to trade Decker possibly. You're thinking running back? I think There's a potential. If we're going to go out there and say wide receiver, why not running back as well? It's. I think Delvin Cook is worthy of the pick. I just don't think they take him. He's supposed yeah, to drop. True. Do they take McCaffrey? Well, yeah, what about McCaffrey? And we, can, we can put that down. It's, it's a wild card. It's a wild card, but uh, anybody want to start us off on who they would who they would take? Uh -huh. You would take? <laughs> I mean, again, like what I was saying with the Titans, I think I'll just take best player available and just go with Solomon Thomas for the Jets, even though they're – their D line's pretty stacked. Uh, they're they're trying to trade. I heard they're trying to trade Sheldon Richardson. So, yeah. so you're going Solomon yeah, Thomas. Yeah, Solomon Thomas for them. If uh, I think if they trade, if they trade away Richardson, I think they go Thomas here. Uh, if they're under, if they're deciding to keep him, I think they go quarterback, and I think more specifically they go Trubisky. There's just a lot of rumors with what them would you Trubisky. Do, Me, I would probably go Trubisky because they keep swinging at these quarterbacks. You got to hit a home run on one of them. So you you prefer Trubisky over any other quarterback? Uh, I mean I prefer Watson, but so you're the GM here. Around the fine, I'll take Watson. You're taking Watson. See, uh, I'm a fan of taking best available here, but the Jets, it's sometimes it's okay to reach for a quarterback. Jets, they're not picking, they're picking early, but they ain't picking top three. It's a tough situation, but I would actually I would actually take Watson. Watson's my number one quarterback. I think they desperately need a quarterback. Like who? Who are they going to run with this year? They actually have a decent defense, so they could maybe compete. No, mm. Probably not, but mm -hmm. I think get a quarterback that can start now. I know people are concerned about Watson doing that, but I'm going to I'm gonna go Watson. So, I mean, Watson Watson is the pick. He's Still off the board. Solomon Thomas up there. Still have Solomon Thomas he, up there. He's going I'm here. Picking him. He's going here. I'm just – I really like him as a prospect. just not as mm -hmm. high as most people. Um, the Chargers pick seven. Uh, Chargers, I, every mock I've seen, they take, it seems like they take Hooker, but he's gone. Both of the safeties are Both gone. Both the safeties are gone for, for the Chargers. So, uh, I mean, you got to keep going with Thomas and Allen, possibly. Do they really need that? Um, maybe a quarterback. Do they find the future? The future. With Rivers, maybe, maybe on the decline. Doesn't really seem like he's declined too much, but. Um, maybe give Rivers some weapons? Some healthy weapons? Possibly. And then you have to look receiver as well. They they have actually a few guys but that are solid, but they don't really have a big-time guy. Um, you, I mean, Keenan Allen would be a big-time guy, but he seems, unfortunately, to get hurt every single year. So that's all we have is per potential options. Thomas so. Allen, wide my, receivers. My pick's in there. And quarterbacks, possibly? Your no, pick's in there? My pick's in that group. It's in that group? Who are you picking? 
big of Mr. Solomon. Solomon? I mean, it's too good to pass this I, year? Yeah, I think you, if, if you don't trade it, you have to take him. What about you, Pete? Yeah, I'm just, I just keep picking Solomon Thomas. I'm last, with you. He's gone now. Picks I Let's send him. him. Just, he's the best player available. L.A. So. Send him to L.A. Maybe, yeah, maybe he doesn't fit as well as these last few teams, but I think he is a versatile guy where he can just go anywhere on the D-line. Um, but I, it's already Thomas because you guys picked it, but I, I would actually take Mike Williams here. I'm high on Mike Williams, and I think they need a number one receiver, and he fits their style on offense. So I would take Mike Williams, but Tom, Solomon Thomas is the pick. He's finally off the board. The eighth pick. Ooh, I already got my pick. Carolina this Panthers. You got to write Jonathan Allen down. Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, I haven't seen a mock with them taking a receiver, and that's kind of concerning. Who are their receivers? Benjamin, who gets hurt? Funches? They still got Ginn? No, he's mm -hmm. gone. Long time. So I think he got. I think receiver could be a wild card. Um, I think you got to write Barnett down in there. I think he's for sure worthy of the pick. Should have he should have been worthy of the pick. He's worthy of the earlier picks, but he's not really a realistic option. So we didn't mention him really. Um, and he fits the defense. Cook. Uh, Dalvin Cook. He's supposed to drop past this point. But or just running backs in general. Running backs, you look at McCaffrey as right. well. Um, any other options they could use a DB? Is Conley or Quincy Wilson worth this pick? Mm -mm. Probably not. Mm -mm. So we're looking at Jonathan Allen. We're looking at Mike Williams, Corey Davis, John Ross out of the receivers, Derek Barnett, the edge rusher from Tennessee, and running backs Dalvin Cook or Christian McCaffrey, possibly. This is tough. This is tough. If I'm the GM, yeah, you I'm go the first GM. On this one. Go first on this one. It's it's really hard. I got my pick. It's it's between Derek Barnett and Dalvin Cook. I'm really high on both of them. I don't think Dalvin Cook will be the pick because I think off the field issues. Even though we're going, I'm the GM here, and I'm kind of at a loss here, so I'm gonna go Barnett just because I think it's more likely. I as the GM, me personally, I would take a running back. And then if I was the GM and felt as if we can keep Delvin Cook out of trouble, out of those off-the-field issues, I think his play would be something that Carolina could honestly they, – they need. They absolutely Skill need. Skill-wise, he's a top-ten player. Right. So I, I would think take, Barnett is as well. And Allen, but I think Barnett fits better than Allen, so that's why I took Barnett. I think if you can get – if they can get past the off-the-field issues, I think Cook is taken here. I'm deciding – Factor here. Deciding factor. Um, yeah, I really like Derek Barnett. He's one of my favorite players in the draft. That's so. biased. <laughs> bias. So I'm going to go with Derek Barnett for the Panthers there. Derek Barnett is the pick. That is eight picks out of the way.